I don't create the drama, but I'm here for a bit. Welcome to Tea Time Unfiltered with Lovely Tea. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with Lovely Tea. So I want to come on here and talk about some things that are going on concerning the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation. A lot of people wanted me to touch on this. Now, this situation with Amber and Johnny has been going on since about 2016. Um, there was all types of accusations, mainly coming from Amber's side and her lawyer's side, that Johnny Depp was abusing her. You know, she was going through so much. And because she's the pretty little lady from, you know, Aquaman, a lot of people just took her word for it. Even though Johnny Depp was saying, hey, she was abusing me too. She was putting her hands on me too. Um, you know, she cut me. She put me through a lot of stuff everybody was like well Johnny we don't believe you because one you're a man two you've been known to be drunk you know god forbid you have too many beers and this just sounds like something you would do why would she make up this so it got so crazy that during their divorce settlement she ended up getting seven million dollars which she donated to charity and she ended up being one of the faces of the me too movement and how is this happening to me you know I'm strong smart I'm not a victim to my detriment. I guess there was a lot of shame attached to that that label of victim. It happens to so many women, you know, it, when it happens in your home behind closed doors with someone you love, it's it, it's not as straightforward. If a stranger did this, you know, as, right. as, as it was pointed out to me, if a stranger did this, it would be a no-brainer. She was very vocal about domestic violence, domestic abuse towards women, how it wasn't okay. You know, she went on all these speaking engagements. And then only to fast forward two years later after their divorce for new tapes to come out. And it's basically showing that Amber Heard is not as innocent as she proclaimed to be and that she's not. And that she's also, most importantly, not necessarily a sole victim in this situation, okay? It looks to me that they were definitely more than one victim besides Amber. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these audio clips. I want you guys to listen to the audio. And you can hear Amber Heard being very rude, belligerent, talking down to him, making fun of him because he wants to call one of his friends to get him out that situation. She's definitely not the soft-spoken sweetheart that everybody assumed she was. So you guys go ahead and check out this audio, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. After you fucking night. got physically violent with me, I texted Travis. I said, come up here. Because I, I didn't want anything to, to happen. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's coming to what? Save me? No, go ahead. Continue. You, you, you. Travis, do the rescue. No, that, no, that was the last one. You can go. Uh, you go. That was the last insult. Oh, yeah. You, you, you called me a liar, and yet, yeah. Yet. I watched you lie. You called me a liar. I watched you lie. I You're heard it. I was right there. There's no what. You still haven't told me what lie it is. We'll talk but yet, to, every single fucking time. We'll you know you Chavis. do this every single fucking time. We'll talk time. to Chavis. I'm not fucking talking to nobody. No, Fuck that. You, you go fucking jerk. Go jerk him off. I don't care. I really could care less. It's you every single time. You latch onto some sort of thing. When I already told you, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. You still haven't even told me what it is. But run with it. You I have told you it. what it is. No, you haven't. I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, okay. tell Travis right. what just happened. You oh, you told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the You're fucking right. thing. And you, you figured in it the out. Face, and you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you, you lie. And then I, I didn't punch you, and then by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, punch hit you me. across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. I know. Yeah, no, I, when you fucking have a closed fist. You get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. You can't I don't know what you. the po motion of my actual hand was. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are your toes? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are you I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's the difference you between me those. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical are such fights. You're a baby. Because Grow you, the fuck up. Because Johnny. you start physical fights. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. So I had because to get the fuck out. This so many times, how many times I've chased you out of the elevator in the hall. Stop doing that. 
not nitpicking. I don't mean to be focusing on something, but if it's a major thing to me, and it is a major. If things get thing. physical, we have to separate. No, we no. have to be apart from one another, whether it's for fucking an hour or ten hours or fucking a day. We must. There can be no physical violence. I can't promise you that I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I fucking sometimes get so mad, I lose it. I can fucking promise you I'm you know do everything to change. I you didn't even come home last night. I feel like I have nothing to hang on to. It's all right, so you guys just heard that Johnny Depp audio with Amber Heard, and it's just really disturbing. You know, and I think the thing that bothers me the most is I've been watching how the mainstream media is dealing with this situation because when they thought Johnny was the guilty party, it was off with his head. This man literally lost everything. He was not allowed to do anything else with the Pirates of the Caribbean, which has been his bread and butter for like the past, I don't know, 10 15 years they totally cut him off of that his public image was ruined his legacy was damn near ruined and now that this new audio has leaked you even have some media outlets just acting just dumb and confused like well uh i don't know what to do uh you know well we really can't blame her well uh you know i mean it's just like are you guys serious you guys not hearing the same audio that the rest of the world is hearing i want you guys to listen to this news clip from et canada and how they were still low-key trying to defend Amber Heard, even after they heard, no pun intended, what the hell was on the tape. Go ahead and check this out. Uh, and also says the thing that Amber has a history of being violent, Johnny does not. Uh, Carrie says, I don't know which one to believe. I don't think we're ever going to know the full honest story. Yeah, I think that's very true. Angie says they're toxic to each other. There are no victims. But yeah, this. We don't know. Yeah. You, we, we just, you know, we could sit here all day back and forth about who's what but the, at the end of the day we don't know what went on behind yeah. closed doors and at the end of the day they're not together which is a good thing right like uh faces this whole story is messy messy and yeah like listening to that audio it yeah it definitely doesn't sound good for amber but that but at the same time you can't context. yeah but you can't they all of a sudden know. throw all the blame on her so they you just don't know, don't know. So it's one of these situations that yeah it's just a complete mess and so yeah at a certain point it's like well, at least it's over. They're out of each other's lives. They've both been able to move on. So I think at a certain point, just like, what? not buy against beer ends, but just, yeah, just kind of stay out of it. All right. So you guys just heard that clip. And what I found really funny is that the male on the stage is like, dude, where's your nuts? He goes, yeah, but you can't all of a sudden throw all the blame on her. Because, again, the mainstream media is just so afraid to just call stuff for what it is. You know, I understand the woman staying on code and having, you know, her white sister's back. But for the man to just act like he can't even speak out and say, yo, this is wrong. That You know, this is more to the story. He says you can't all of a sudden throw all the blame on her. I found that statement very, very telling. His career was ruined only because he was a man. She really didn't provide a whole bunch of evidence. It was basically whatever she said was law. She had the nerve to release statements stating that he would beat her at the drop of a hat. You know, he was the physical abuser. I mean, she drugged this man through the mud, but she never, ever released any statements about the shit that she did. She never talked about the role that she played in the relationship. And obviously to me, in a lot of these tapes that have now come out, she sounds to be the aggressor. And this is why I say that movements like Me Too and Time's Up are very, very problematic. Because what I've seen happen since all this came about in 2016 is a bunch of people ready to just throw people in jail and then, you know, ask questions later. They're basically all been guilty before even going to trial. They snatched movie roles from him. You know, all types of opportunities were snatched from him. But now that her bad behavior is out front and center, now Hollywood is not as quick to call her out. I don't see them snatching her movie roles. Now, people are petitioning that she get removed from Aquaman, too. But so far, the studios haven't said anything. So I find this very, very telling. 
And the reason why things like this do bother me is the fact that you guys know I'm a mother of boys, okay? I have two boys. I was raised with my brother, so I'm around a lot more men than I am female. Now, I'm not one of them girls who's like, oh, I don't hang with women, and women ain't shit, and I don't trust no girls. No. Women like that stay the hell away from them because they seriously have problems. I have some really cool girlfriends. They're like sisters to me. Hell, I have a little sister. So, no, I hang with females. I'm cool with females. But what I'm saying for the majority of my time, I'm around guys. Okay, I'm around sports and boys and, you know, my sons is friends and, you know, a lot of people come over, my male cousins, we watch games, all types of stuff, right? So this really bothers me because so many times we teach little boys from the time that they're young that, you know, women are to be on this pedestal and, you know, you never hit a woman. Even if the woman hits you, you're not supposed to hit her back. And I think that this is becoming very, very problematic because that mentality has made it where if a woman says something, it's her word and that's it. No further investigation is needed, and especially, let me keep it real, and y'all can say, oh, you're playing the race card, but especially when it's a white woman. People are less likely to really fan through the details, comb through the details, and see if what she's saying is actual. If this was a black woman, there she'd be under a lot more scrutiny. But because she's a pretty white woman, she's a, you know, a Hollywood scarlet. It's like, oh, my God, she's beaten. We're going to make her the voice of the Me Too movement and fuck Johnny Depp and take everything away. His legacy, everything he's done out there. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.